guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is going to be a bit of a video on my hair and how I look after it. I am fully aware that I could have and should have done a full blowout and curls to show you my hair in this video, but I've got loads of videos up where you can see it curly and straight and plaited and all sorts. And today's hair is just kind of it's kind of doing my head in a little bit. So we've just gone with the old bun and headband combination. So I thought I would show you some of the products that I use and talk you through some of the things I do. So with my hair, I don't wash it every single day. I find that it was kind of becoming quite limp and just lifeless when I was washing it every day. So I kind of switched to every other day um, and I still felt like it wasn't making that much of a difference. I watched a video by Anna Ciccone who said she washes her hair twice a week and I was like, oh okay, that's a little bit, you know, is it gonna get really, really oily? Slowly, I trained my hair to be able to do that by just adding an extra day every few weeks into the gap between washing my hair. And now I successfully wash my hair on a Monday and Thursday night without any oily days. So one of those times I'm going four days without washing my hair and actually you can't tell at all. It gives my hair volume, it's made it really strong and shiny and healthy and it's just so much better, especially on the last couple days I have some real serious volume in there. Today it's kind of up like this because I washed my hair yesterday and it's kind of a bit limp and meek and I just didn't want it to look rubbish. And also, after filming this video, I'm just running errands and hanging around, so up is the way to go. So, when I do wash my hair, I shampoo my hair first and I shampoo my hair twice, which is something I read and I just find works for me. I use a lot of dry shampoo, obviously, and the four day gap. Obviously, my hair is dyed, I use a lot of hairspray, so there's a lot of stuff going on in my hair, so I like to give it a good wash. So first of all, I add shampoo into my hair and I just give it a quick sort of scrub through and through the ends, rinse out and then I go back in and you find that the second time the shampoo lathers a lot, lot better. My current go-to shampoo, you've seen this before on my channel quite a few times, is the OGX Anti-Breakage Keratin Oil Shampoo. I really, really like this shampoo. It's done wonders for me and um, it's lasted me quite a long time, but obviously if I'm only shampooing twice a week, my products are gonna last a lot longer. So like I said, I shampoo twice in a row with this um, and I find that it really, really does leave my hair really squeaky clean. Next, I go on to conditioning. Conditioning is something I do every time I wash my hair because I only wash it twice a week. So after my shampoo, I pop my conditioner in, I run it through from roots to tips and then I kind of curl it up, clip it in whilst I do everything else in the shower. So that gives it some time to sink in. If I'm feeling really, really luxurious, I would just get out of the shower, put a shower cap on and sit and watch some YouTube videos for half an hour and then go and rinse it out, kind of like a leave-in conditioner. My current favorite conditioner is the new Garnier Ultimate Blends Silicone Free Conditioner. And this has coconut milk and macadamia. I really, really like this. Um, I find that it smells absolutely beautiful and I really like the sort of effect it has on my hair. I find that it um, really does leave my hair feeling a lot, lot healthier and stronger and not so dry. Sometimes I let my hair air dry, sometimes I blow dry it. It really depends on what kind of hairstyle I'm going for, what time of the day it is, my mood, etc. Whenever I add any heat to my hair, I always, always use a heat protection spray. So, so important. I use the Urban Fudge um, Feel the Heat Heat Protection Spray and it looks like this. It takes to up to 455 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 230 Celsius. It smells really, really nice. It reminds me of the smell of kind of a professional hair salon. So I just put this throughout the hair um, before I blow dry it. So, so talking about blow drying a little bit, what I do is I section my hair off with the crocodile clips and blow dry section with my paddle brush, which I'll show you a bit later. And I just kind of go through layer by layer and 
blow dry it. I do the same with straightening as well and curling. I do layer by layer at the back and then side by side, which I'm sure I'll do a video at some point curling my hair or straightening my hair just so you can see what kind of technique I use. If I'm not straightening or blow drying my hair and I'm gonna let it air dry, I add a little dollop of the Aussie Dual Personality Coloured Hair Protection and Shine Serum. So obviously this is designed for people with coloured hair like myself and it has Australian jojoba seed oil. I really like this, it's part of the Colour Mate um, sort of collection from Aussie. And it's a little bit more expensive, but I find that this really does give some healthy sort of shine to my hair. I kind of switch between this and argan oil and um, cream oil, but I find at the moment this is what I've been leaning towards. Sometimes I like to French boxer braid my hair overnight to give it a bit of volume the next day. And when I'm doing that, I add a bit of mousse. So the mousse that I've always used and always loved is the Weller Shockwave Style Attraction Play Volume and it volumizes conditions and helps defend from styling heat and this is the level 5 mousse. I just add a ball of this into the palm of my hand, flip my head over, run it through all of my hair and then box or braid it up overnight and then when I wake up it's all kind of wavy and crinkly all over and it doesn't kind of leave your hair sticky or crusty like a lot of mousses do. Whenever I'm finished styling my hair, I go for hairspray. And my favourite is the classic L'Oreal Paris Amnette Satin Hairspray in Supreme Hold. So just a little bit of this all over and you are good to go. When it does come to the final days of hair washing, I like to reach for dry shampoo. The Colab Dry Shampoo in Paradise it doesn't leave any white spray or residue in your hair, which obviously with black hair is a big no-no. I normally use the Super Drugs Cocoa one, which is kind of black to brown. But the only problem is that if you start playing with your hair, you get it under your nails, you get it on your hands, you get it on your face, you just get covered in brown powder. So I try and go for this one now, and you can get these off of ASOS. And I think I've spoken about this or will speak about this in a haul where I've bought a couple of different fragrances recently. But I really, really like this. And how cute is this packaging? It has flamingos on it. Finally, going into brushes, you've seen this already in my July favourites, but this is the Tangle Teaser Paddle Brush. This is the brush I was talking about that I use to blow dry my hair and kind of wet brush it, get out any knots, any kind of brushing, I always reach for this because I just find that Tangle Teasers are my favourite kind of comb. They don't pull, they don't rip my hair out and they just seem to get all the tangles out straight away. So that was kind of the things that I use for my hair, what I do with my hair. Like I said, sometimes I just leave it natural. I straighten it or curl it. I quite like boxer braiding it or Dutch braiding it, which is when you braid it up over the top of your head, which you would have seen in videos before. And sometimes I kind of go out, all out and try something new. But like I said, they're kind of my go-to hairstyles and they're the hairstyles you'll normally see me in videos. If you do have any questions about my hair, please do leave it down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos every Thursday and I blog post every Monday. I will leave the link to my blog down below and also all my social media handles too, so come and say hi and I will see you in my next video.